In this video, I will compare Safaricom 5G Home Wi-Fi and Airtel Kenya's 5G Home Wi-Fi. By the end of the video, I hope that you'll have all the information you need to make the best, most informed choice about which one to go for. Unlike traditional connections like fiber that use cables, 5G Home Wi-Fi uses the same 5G wireless network as your smartphone. In Kenya, the only 5G home Wi-Fi options available are provided by Safaricom and Airtel Kenya. Both options enable you to have internet in your home through a 5G router that connects to the Airtel or Safaricom cellular network. One of the best things about 5G internet is how easy it is to set up. There are no cables required unlike fiber. All you have to do is walk into a shop, buy the 5G router and plug it in to immediately connect to the internet. One of the first considerations before buying a 5G router is whether you live in an area with 5G coverage. A lack of coverage can result in unreliable or non-existent service, making it impossible to enjoy the benefits of 5G. In Kenya, both Safaricom and Airtel are continuing to expand their network infrastructure so that more individuals can enjoy the benefits of 5G. Safaricom has a list on their website showing locations that can access their 5G network. Airtel Kenya, on the other hand, has a map on their website displaying their 5G-ready areas. In terms of setup cost, you'll pay 12,000 Kenyan shillings to purchase Safaricom's 5G for home router. You'll also need to buy a Safaricom line at 100 Kenya shillings as well as a 5G package starting at 3,499 Kenya shillings for 400 GB per month. In total, the cheapest amount you can spend to get started with Safaricom's 5G for home is 15,600 Kenya shillings. The Airtel 5G router, on the other hand, costs 3,000 Kenya shillings for the device alone. If you opt for an unlimited plan, the total amount will be the cost of the device plus the cost of the 5G plan you select. For example, if you buy the smart box with their lowest plan, the 10 Mbps unlimited plan, the total cost will be 6,500 Kenya shillings. Currently, Airtel is running a festive offer where you can buy any of the unlimited bundles for 3,500 Kenya shillings and get the device for free. For this reason, Airtel wins in terms of onboarding cost. Now let's talk about equipment. When choosing 5G for home, the 5G device provided by the service provider is one of the most crucial parts of the service and will greatly affect your internet experience. You want to ensure that the 5G home service you choose comes with a high quality 5G receiver because inferior equipment can negatively affect your connection and reduce overall performance. The 5G device that you get when you purchase Safaricom 5G for home is the Nokia 5G Gen 2 router. Inside the box, you'll find the 5G broadband router, which is in white, manuals, and a power cable. Airtel's 5G device, on the other hand, is a branded ZLT X25 5G router. Inside the box, you get the Airtel 5G smart box, which is in white. You also get a set of manuals, an Ethernet cable, a power backup, and a black power cable. In terms of equipment quality, Safaricom has a better 5G receiver coming from Nokia, a more reputable brand, compared to Airtel's, which is a generic Chinese 5G device. This could explain why Airtel's device is significantly cheaper. Safaricom's 5G router is smaller and sleeker, measuring 18.1 cm high, 15 cm wide, and 6 cm deep, while Airtel's router measures 20.5 cm high and 9.2 cm wide. Both routers support dual-band Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi 6, one of the latest Wi-Fi protocols. In terms of physical interfaces, Safaricom's 5G router has one gigabit Ethernet LAN port, whereas Airtel's has three ports. Both devices can be managed via a web portal that allows you to make advanced settings, but the Safaricom router has an added advantage because it has a dedicated app, which is better for regular users. In terms of packages, Safaricom only offers limited bundle packages, starting from 3,499 Kenya shillings for 400 GB per month, 5,999 Kenya shillings for 800 GB, and 9,999 Kenya shillings for 1,500 GB. Airtel Kenya, on the other hand, has both unlimited and limited bundle plans. The unlimited plans start from 3,500 Kenya shillings for 10 Mbps, 5,000 Kenya shillings for 20 Mbps, and 6,500 Kenya shillings for 30 Mbps. Airtel Kenya also has a limited bundle plan called 5G Ultra Bundles, which cost 3,000 Kenya shillings for 10 GB daily and 5,000 Kenya shillings for 20 GB daily. 
both networks allow you to buy or change your package through their mobile applications, making the experience of using the devices very smooth. Now let's talk about speeds. Many people are keen to try out 5G for better speeds and lower latency. Higher speeds are essential for remote work, large file sharing, and accessing cloud-based applications, while low latency is vital for real-time applications like video conferencing, online gaming, and live streaming. Both Safaricom and Airtel allow you to get the best speeds that their devices can attain, but only with a limited data bundle plan. I did a speed test on Safaricom's 5G device with a 400 GB plan and got average download speeds of around 260 Mbps and upload speeds of around 60 Mbps. On Airtel, I've been using the 10 Mbps plan, so I cannot experience the maximum speeds that Airtel's 5G network can provide. I've conducted several speed tests and the average download speed was consistently 10 Mbps and the upload speeds were around 5 Mbps most of the time. That said, if you want to get better 5G speeds from Airtel, be sure to pay for the Ultra bundles instead of the unlimited bundles like I did. Now let's talk about network reliability. Because 5G for home uses wireless cellular networks, it is crucial for the 5G router to maintain consistent connectivity. Inconsistent connectivity can disrupt workflows, online meetings, and leisure activities like watching a live football game. In my testing, I found that Safaricom has the most reliable 5G for home network, which can be attributed to their better network coverage and higher quality 5G device. During my time using the device both in Nairobi and Kisumu, it never lost 5G reception. The Airtel device, on the other hand, struggled to maintain consistent 5G reception in Nairobi even when placed on the windowsill in my home. In fact, much of the time I used the Airtel 5G device, it was running on 4G. I've spoken to several people who have used Airtel's device and they seem to have the same issue of inconsistent 5G coverage even in the heart of Nairobi. That said, it's good that both devices support 4G as a fallback mechanism, meaning you can use them even in remote areas of Kenya where there's no 5G coverage. In terms of use cases, I've used the Safaricom 5G router for more than a month in my home and it's worked well as a suitable replacement for home fiber. Aside from using it as a fiber replacement, I think that both devices are also suited for people living in areas without fiber. Many areas in Kenya still do not have fiber internet and both devices allow people living in such areas to access the internet. Both devices are also great for use in rural and remote areas because they can still operate on the 4G network. Airtel's device wins here because it also comes with a portable backup power system that can last up to 5 hours. I also think both devices are ideal for mobile office and remote working applications because they are very portable and you can easily carry them in a small bag to a cafe, exhibition, trade show and other activities. In terms of portability, the Safaricom router wins because it has the smallest footprint. Finally, I would recommend either device as a backup internet option when your home fiber or office connection experiences downtime. Here, I give Airtel extra points because it can be used even when there is no electricity. If you ask me, I think that 5G home Wi-Fi is a big deal and I'll tell you why. With just a 5G router, access to 5G network and power, you can get high-speed internet to your home without needing traditional wired connections. In Kenya, Safaricom and Airtel Kenya are now offering this service, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. If you're considering trying it, I hope the factors discussed in this video will help you make the right decision. In my next video, I'll be testing a very interesting product, so make sure you subscribe so you're notified when that goes live. See you in the next video.